Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here with the C47 and another episode of Random Acts Of. I am just back from Oregon and getting ready to go over the pond with my family. I was actually born in Scotland and we try to go back every two years. I'm going to be bringing sort of my standard vlogging kit that I'm using and then I'm also going to be shooting a small video with a second one of these EOS M3 cameras and I'll explain more about that when I'm in Scotland. But what I do have to do is I have to pack. And so at the moment, what I'm doing is I'm heading up to Mac Group, which is in White Plains. And Mac Group is a company that's been around for almost 30 years. Some of the brands under their umbrella, uh, Siconic for light meters, Kupo for grip, uh, Benro and Enduro for camera support and the company I am going to see under that umbrella, Tenba. Peter and I have known each other for a long time, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up there and talk to him about their current solutions and see if there's something a little bit better for what I need for this particular trip. Maybe I'll even pop into Benro and see Chris and Brian and see if there's a, a really lightweight solution for me to use for uh, a tripod. Okay, I made it to Mac Group, so now I need to go and find Peter. Hey. There you go. Come on in. Hey, very nice. Come on in. All right, so this is the, do we call it the demo room or showroom? Yes, the demo room. The demo room. Lots of toys here. I can't actually let you see anything too, for too long because there might be secret stuff in here. Seriously, I'm kind of under... Uh, Perpetual NDA yeah. with Mac Group. It's part of being in the inner circle. And, uh, and this is Peter, of course. And he hey. is uh, kind of Mr. Tenba, I guess. Yeah, Mr. Tenba. I yeah. go by that name. Yeah, oh, sure. so that's good. So this is kind of my, currently my sort of vlogging bag. So I have this little gimbal that I'm holding in my hand right now in there usually. I mean, I just have all, I basically have what's in my hand, which is the M3 audio equipment, stuff like that, but I can't fit everything I want to. I'm going to Scotland. Um, I was thinking about bringing the Rode 2, but the tripod like that is, is actually fine. It's just trying to figure out if I can get something a little bit smaller. Maybe I don't have the two bags that I need. What's the smallest bag that'll fit a 15 inch? The 24 liter backpack in the shootout collection, yep. Which I actually have. Yeah. Which I haven't even thought about. Right. Uh, let's check that out. That's a good one. So this, I know, fits. This is what I took to Japan, actually. And so that'll fit the, that'll fit the MacBook Pro 15. Yeah. Um, and that goes in the back. or si Isn't it like a side zipper? Yeah, side, side zipper. So the laptop through here. Yep. And uh, with the equipment, you know, you can organize it through here. And then for the video features in particular, you've got a nice shotgun mic or monopod, even small compact tripod pocket over here on the side. I need a smaller tripod. Goes all the way down. We can look at that too. I want to get away from this thing right here that's on the Rode 2. Yeah, sure. Um, and you know what I'm going to do with those inserts. Yeah, you're going to rip them out and replace them with pouches. <laughs> of course I am. Well, you're going to pack it the way Jim Schofield packs a bag. Yeah, but pouches. you know, yeah. but this is, you have a lot of pouches now. Yeah, we do. So, we a lot of great and you didn't have any pouches or r barely any when I first started using your bags. We didn't have any and you said your bags need pouches and so we added them. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what's in the 14L for this trip. I can still, I, I mean, I love this bag. But I'm going to see what I can do to get everything that I need uh, for this trip and also for vlogging into that 24L. Okay. Even though I still want a deconstructed version of the 24L. Yeah, sure. Um, so I'm going to try to do that. And then I guess stick with this roadie over here and s probably, I think, and try to get away from that big ass tripod. Uh oh. Yeah, okay. They were calling Wayne, who I know also. There's Chris. Hey, Chris. Hi, Jim. How are you? I'm well. So Chris is really sort of product development for MiPhoto, Enduro, and Benro, yes. right? All yep. three of them. Yep. And so I've been using their products for a long time. Brian, who I call the Irish, is uh, MIA right now. He's not really. He's working. And he's really more marketing for those brands. I have a problem. Uh, I have that tripod. Uh. Travel Angel, okay. Which I like very much. Very nice tripod. 
but I need something for vlogging and this M3 and nothing too big. So is there anything that you have possibly? I think I got the perfect tripod for you. Come with me. Okay, let's see. All right, so I think based on the way Chris is saying things, I might have to turn off the camera now. So I'm gonna do that. And let's take a look at the bag okay. and see what we've come up with. By the way, uh, just one little instruction, Peter. Yeah. I know you know this, but in that side pocket over there is a tripod, Yeah. which Chris and Brian have let me use as a solution. Do you see how small it is? I, I do now. With the S2 head, and <laughs> that is not something that I can show anybody right now. <laughs> yeah. But I'm really excited about okay, it. So it's, uh, it's in my bag and I don't know about it. That's still part of that perpetual NDA thing. So okay. uh okay good. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's in this bag. Um okay. front pocket, at least for now, a couple of uh hard drive pouches. So that's great. Um I was able to take what I had in my 14L, which is the iPad, and put that in there. Yeah. Side one I have that Joby, which is gonna get replaced by something cooler than that when I go on my trip, which will be part of uh, the Scotland vlogging. Main compartment. Main compartment. And there it is. Pouches galore. The Tenba pouch on the left-hand side, uh, that one, yep, yeah, that's yeah. just, that's basically going to be audio number one. In there, it's just sort of like miscellaneous. It's going to be cards, everything else. Then I've got what's going to hold the camera kit. And what's that pouch called? Because it has structure to it on the walls. Uh, this is the toolbox. Okay. And this happens to be the Toolbox 4. Yeah. And then I've got these other two we got padded the, uh, ones. Yeah, the BYOBs. And so this is the are, 7, right? Yep, yeah, these are the 7s. And so that's going to be all the power that I'm going to use for the Flex 1x1. One one. So for that flexible LED. Yeah. And I've also looked at the size of that battery in there with the P-Tap. Um, and then that's going to be audio number 2. So there's not much in there right now. Yeah. But that's designed to hold the transmitter, the receiver, um, all of that kind of stuff. Okay. And then I've got some makeup stuff in there and some batteries. Do that... I need makeup? No, you don't need makeup. Okay. I need makeup, but oh. that's why the camera's not pointing right, at me. Okay. And then I have a little X bracket for the flexible LED, okay. and okay. that'll work. And then, of course, the gimbal goes down there as well. And that's pretty much it. But based on that, yeah, those are cool. It's not lighting up. <laughs> That's because you need this pouch over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, the MacBook Pro's in there. Oh. That's really? crazy. Okay. <laughs> so, so that, I think I put it in there already. So, the bingo. Yep. And there it is. Right. So, that's a ridiculous amount of kit that can go in there. And now I actually have more room in my Rode 2 than I had when I came here. I have that extra room that I need for another camera and a couple of lenses. Yeah. So it's definitely a better solution for this trip than the 14L. This bag is pretty amazing for lots of applications. Yeah. Though the reason I love the 14L is it's a little bit smaller and when I don't have to bring all of this kit uh, and I don't need a laptop and stuff, it's I can do it. It's an amazing bag. All right, Peter. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank I'm going to shake your hand with my left hand, which is right. really weird because I'm holding the gimbal with my right, right hand. It's the vlogging shake. Yeah. It is the vlog shake. Yeah, the vlog shake. It's like the Harlem shake, yeah. but it's the vlog shake. Cue music. Yeah. And Aww. that's another episode of Random Acts of.